Welcome back, you guys. This is the Syndra. Continuing my Hoi 4 campaign as the United Kingdom. Where we are hoping to, like, form the Commonwealth of what? What is it called again? It's called something. The Commonwealth of Nations, I think. Yeah. This is so long. Where is it? Um, Commonwealth of Nations. Yeah, I got it right. Uh, but unfortunately, we have to do a bunch of decisions here and waste a lot of our PP. And I'm thinking we just ditch using a focus for a while. We just don't do one. Like, I have this, uh, like, available right now. But I'm just not going to do it because we need, like, 300 political points to do this. So, I'm not entirely sure we can do that. I might, I might just cheat a bit and um, give myself some PP and then take it back later. I don't know if I want to do that. It's, it seems kind of gamey, but what can I do? I, can't, I have to, I want to figure out what to do here. If I had known I needed 300 political points before doing that, I would have saved up. But I had no idea. And, and apparently I'm just on a 60 day timer now. No warning, just 60 day timer. Okay, well, whatever. So, let's just add you to my new squad here. Um, you don't have any orders, so just chill. Yeah, just chill in London. Free dockyards. I was doing some refitting, so we'll not worry about this. Let's not worry about this. Let's just go ahead and discuss Imperial Defense. Let's see what happens there. Um, Imperial Defense... Now, Imperial Conference Defense. In light of the current global crisis, it is clear that we can no longer shoulder the responsibility of Imperial Defense entirely ourselves, and so must rely more on our dominions. Each state must increase their own defense expenditure so that the whole may stand stronger in the face of whatever the world could throw at us. Let us hope the dominion agrees. Spend diplomatic effort to persuade the dominions to agree. Spend tremendous diplomatic effort. I'm just gonna hope they agree. I don't have the PP for that. I have to spend even more PP to like convince them? Are they going to agree to this or not? They won't say. I also need to do another speech against Germany. So, uh, Dominion of India rejects. New Zealand rejects. South Africa accepts. But that's about it. Okay. Australia accepts. Canada accepts. So guess we'll do a trade next. Uh, trade. If the empire is to thrive, we must expand the preferential trade agreements already in place. We propose that the Dominion increases their exports to the industrial heartland of the British Isles so that we may mostly efficiently... So that we may most efficiently fuel our industry. Let's just hope they agree. I don't want to spend any more PP on this than I have to. Yeah, we're getting like 0.82 every single day, but... <sighs> so Canada accepts. Okay, let's wait for this. New Zealand, South Africa accepts. India rejects us. Canada accepts us. Okay. Do we have to do this one then to finish this? We'll do the economy, sure. A powerful economy is the backbone that supports the entire empire. It is imperative that the dominions do not neglect their domestic industrial buildup, but invest heavily in the continued advancement of industrialization. Let's just hope they agree. And if I have to like cheat and give myself some PP, I think I will do that and just take it back later. Because, because this is timed, I'm kind of fucked. So, South Africa accepts. We'll just wait until everybody responds here. Hello? Is that everybody? So, India accepts. Australia rejects us. Canada rejects us. So, they get a bunch of different, like, boots right now. That's interesting. What if I just do uh, PP 150? Sorry, I'm gonna try to, like, collect this. Like, remember what I took. I, I, I've added myself 150. I will take that back at some point. So, appeasement. The policy of appeasement has not been without its critics among the Empire. We must once more put forth this point for discussion, and admit that perhaps a change in diplomatic tone is needed 
but that this requires the support of the Empire. Yeah, let's just see if they agree. Just agree, please. Just say yes. I'm begging you. Okay. Everybody seems to agree with this. So Australia loses political points, but they get, like, we get war support when they agree to this. Our war support is climbing heavily here. So let's discuss Imperial Federation. Imperial Federation, sorry. Okay. The concept of a federal superstate spanning the entire British Empire is already over half a century old, but previous Imperial conferences were unable to reach a decision on the matter. We have one final chance. Before we become too set on our path towards home rule for the Dominions, we must make them understand that this is the best possible solution for both their peoples and for the Commonwealth of Nations as a whole. I think I'll click this button. Just spend tremendous diplomatic effort to persuade them to agree. I think I'll have to do that. Please agree to this. So the conference will be over in like 30 days. Canada accepts. Everybody accepts, please. Please, everybody accepts. Okay. New Zealand accepts. Australia accepts. Dominion of India accepts. South Africa, Canada. Beautiful. They all accept. So I think we've done everything we need to do here. Imperial Conference Federation success. The motion of Imperial Federation has been unanimous. Has been a unanimous success. Now all involved parties will have to begin the long process of reshaping and integrating their governments on a federal level to ultimately facilitate the full integration of our territories. So they get in federal integration, which reduces their autonomy. Okay. Can I now do this one? No. One of the following must be true. Um, they need to be an integrated puppet. So all of my... All of the Dominions must slowly become less autonomous. Whoops, I just minimized the game. I keep doing that. Give me a second here. Come on. Hoi 4 for some reason takes a while to boot up. There we go. So, you're still gaining autonomy, aren't you? Yeah, so what's going to happen here? <laughs> what's going to happen here? I have no idea. What did it say for India? Uh, uh, Dominion of India. They must be an integrated puppet or a Reich's Commissarat. Reich's Commissarat. So this is colony. They are a Dominion. So right now, only British Malaysia is an integrated puppet. Puppet, integrated puppet. There must be another step between this one and this one. That is that other one. All right, fine. So I can't do anything here. Um, let's see. Can I just pick something? Uh, ooh, general rearmament. Yes. Consumer goods factories minus five percent. Let's go for this. And it looks like I need to fix my OBS a bit here. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. I don't know why I'm having issues with recording. It's I basically took uh, my laptop to my mom's house and I was recording while I was there. And I'm hoping everything is working fine. I hope. So. We're gonna have to uh, give myself, like, let's see, PP minus 150? It doesn't work that way. I can't go negative. I can't go negative. Okay. Hmm. How do I do that then? Do I just save up until I'm at 150 and then take it all back? Probably. Probably. Uh, that sucks. It's also gonna postpone this by a lot. Man. Poland refuses... Okay. Siam joins the Japanese. Poland is going for a Baltic cooperation, and Poland refuses German ultimatum. And Germany already wiped out Lithuania. <laughs> Poland was hoping to join them. <laughs> Whoops! Uh, you're too late, Poland. Uh, Lithuania does not exist anymore. 
Isn't Vilnius somewhere around here? Isn't that the capital? Hey, there we go. Germany declares war on Poland. What do you know? What do you know? So, um... Once I have more than 50% support, we can decide to march on Downing Street. And I think we can then become fascist, finally. So right now, we have... We need... We have 44.36. We need another 6%. And the rest of the things that are remaining here are all really, really expensive. God damn it. Do I have to do this again? I'm gonna have to try to remember this. So I got 250 fucking points. That's not good. I'm cheating too much. If we get a... No, no, no. If we get a... Um, we're gonna have to do a, a, an anti-German speech to boost our stability up. 250 political points. I had to cheat. I had to cheat for 250 political points, just so I can do this. Brittany is a very, very expensive country, apparently. The political system is a fucking nightmare. So this one is the smallest here. Um, if it fails, if we get a violent march, we will definitely drop below 50%. Remember, if we, if we go below 50% stability, there would be a civil war, and I, I just don't want that. I don't. I don't at all. So we'll wait until we hit 72%, uh, and then we'll do this. Let's put it on speed 5 and wait for this. Like, I mean, Germany is taking over all of Europe while I'm doing this. Look at this. They, like, have every single nation apart from Spain. <laughs> Are we going to go to war with Germany? <laughs> Are we? I mean, there's nobody else to fight, really. Damn, this guy looks like a clay doll. And Germany's about to go after the Benelux region. That sucks. Yeah, the conference is done, but we just have to wait on for the subjects to... So you will just demote on your own, or do I have to do that myself? I think... I think I'll get a pop-up. I could be wrong, though. Um, hmm. I'm thinking, can I add field hospitals and logistics? We don't have the support equipment, but we do have the motorized. Let's just do this, and I'll put this into support equipment. Yeah, it's fine. You'll be under strength for a bit, but it's fine. So, stability. Come on, keep rising, please. We could urge restraint, but I've already wasted enough points. Let's just make sure we're above 72, and then we'll just go for it. And this is the pop-up I was talking about. We can lower the autonomy of a subject. And it costs political power. <laughs> Ah, you know what? You know, I'm already down the hole here. Let's do... Um, so we have 250. We'll do 400. 400 political points I cheated. How are you supposed to do this? So right now you are a puppet. Uh, you're a colony, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I've cheated 400 fucking points. Oh, and I still need more. I still actually need more. I'm gonna do this. But I'm still gonna wait for 72%. General rearmament, thank you. So, a motorized army. We don't need this. We don't need any of this. Fortify East Asia is gonna mean we go to war with Japan. They might go to war with Japan. This is what? Air experience gain daily. Really? It gives us a national spirit that gives us just air experience. Yeah, give me this. And I don't have to drill or anything. 400 points. 400 fucking points. Oh boy. I don't know who, like, balanced this, but it seems very, very... Maybe you're not supposed to do all of it at, a, at the same time. Like, maybe once we become fascist, we, like, get a bunch of points. 
But I've been like going over this. I did not find a lot of things here that give you political points. Like this one gives you some for like releasing the colonies. But we're not going for that path. We're like integrating the empire. This is all war focus, like war, navy, air force stuff. Yeah, this does not give me anything. Navy experience. Sanction Japan does not give us any political points. China joins the common turn. What? Excuse me? Oh, who wants to join? China wants to join my faction. Ah, uh, pass. <laughs> pass. So for some reason, Malaysia is giving me a unit. Just go over here and, and stay out of my way. So China and Shangxi wants to join my faction. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say yes. I don't really want to fight the Soviet Union. Nope. Nope. Not. Don't. Don't want to do that. So we're gonna hit seventy-two percent. Right. No, we're not going to hit 72%. Fuck this. Just give me more stability then. It actually stopped at 71. You bastard. Okay. So the chances of us getting a violent march is 6%. I'm still not risking it. I'm still going to wait until I have 72. There we go. Okay. Do this. Let's see what we get. With this, we should hit 50%. It was just a normal... A normal... Uh, march. Look at this. Uh, I've been building up factories. Right, right, right. Fuel silos. We don't have a lot of these. Let's just build one everywhere. So, we should have 50%. March on Downing Street is another 100 PP. Uh, we, don't need to, we don't need to cheat for that. We'll just wait until we have 100 points and then we'll go. This is ridiculous though, isn't it? It, it feels ridiculous. Like, when you played the vanilla game, like back in the day, PP was so useless. Up to a certain point, once you had all of your, like, once you filled this out, PP was useless. It was complete garbage. And now I just I just I can't get enough of it to spend. Germany's going after Switzerland. Yeah, good job. Good job. Uh-huh. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna declare war on me, but I'm prepared. I would like to have Ireland join me. Hey, I can lower autonomy for more things. Canada, colony. Fuck. Give me more. I got 500 points. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep going down this rabbit hole. Fuck. This has been a very, very weird episode for me. Just non-stop cheating. I guess we'll march on Downing Street. And finally become fascist. Okay. Our march on Downing Street was a tremendous success, and under the immediate pressure of the people, Neville, Neville Chamberlain had no choice but to call for immediate elections. These were, these were a clear victory for the right, and with the king's blessing, Oswald Mosley is currently forming his cabinet. In a statement earlier today, the, prime, the new prime minister already announced sweeping economic reforms and a new approach to European diplomacy. In the meantime... Dissent, dissent among the Dominions appeared to be at an all-time high, and calls for independence have never been louder. The next few months will prove to be of monumentous importance for the Empire. Restoring public order, weekly stability. Are we fascist? Yeah! We are! Oswald Mosley. We are the British Empire! Empire! <laughs> that is very, very cool. Ah, uh, so, we can finally do some more stuff here. Move to secure the Dominions. The Dominions are eye our ideological shift with suspicious eyes. It is not unlikely they will reconsider their ties to Westminster if we let them. And so we must not. Acting swiftly, we may be able to forcibly affect a change in government before diplomatic relations become too strained. 
Um, we get 120 political points here. God save the king. No, we don't need that. Sure, let's just secure the dominions. <laughs> I think I already am. Right? Magnetic detonator. That should make us safer against torpedoes? No, it's it's better torpedoes. It's better torpedoes. Go here and give me construction. Man, this feels weird. Like, there's so much stuff right now. There's all the man the guns naval stuff that you have to master. The Irish formed a union. Switzerland, Switzerland died. These guys have their own faction now? And they're being guaranteed by Belgium and the Netherlands. That's that's adorable. Let's just see if we can just wipe them out. I don't know. Justify war goal, conquer. Ah, it's cost me political points. Uh, do I have to? I, I'll wait. Because they're in their own faction. They can't, like, join the Germans. <laughs> they kind of sealed their fate. And if they go to war with us, like, Belgium and the ne Netherlands will join in. But, like, Germany's got a CB against them. Why would he not just wipe them out? Why would he not? China is still alive. Oh, never mind. Shanxi is dead. They've got puppeted. China is still kicking, but it won't be kicking for long. Hmm. Move to secure the dominions. Okay. Let's. Uh, South Africa becomes a colony. Thank you. So, I still can't do this one, but um, the Dominions have approved the Federation. That's there at the bottom. But they need to become a puppet. So, okay, the British path to fascism. Secure the Italian alliance? I think they've already joined another alliance. God save the king. Ceylon gets an operating base. Consolidate the British Isles. Ooh, we get a free annex war goal against Ireland. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just go after Ireland. We move to secure the Dominions. Yes. Thank you for that. So I just continued on my naval doctrine path. I just want to get the, the capital ships. And ideally, I want to get all the way down here to make my fleet really, really, really scary. So I just finished two very, very big ships over here. So, uh, you guys, I told you to drill. This is merge you guys together. This is the fleet that I was making, but um, we'll just continue ha adding to that fleet, because I don't really want to dispatch them to anywhere in particular. Uh, strike force. Let's take the strike force. So if I take you, is there anything here I can start upgrading? Uh, these are all ships I'm using. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Early cruiser hull. Let's get the hulls out of here. Okay, let's see here. Uh, we could change our carriers, I suppose. So we'll go into... Um, is this it? No. Show only carriers. Hey, the Balearic Islands ceded to Italy. Congratulations. So we got Hermes, Eagle, and Courageous. What exactly are these? What exactly are these? These are the Furious. This is the Courageous class. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is the Courageous class. What about all the others? What about this one? It's Glorious. It's a Glorious. I think I'll just make one carrier model and then just change all the other ones into that. So if I do build ships... I'm just going to edit all of these. I don't think the Hermes won. So there's the Courageous. 
So this one relax enough. So I'm imagining it's going to be either one of these. So converted battleship hull. So let's go with level two. Hangar space, just integrated hangar. It's got a lot of hangar space. Anti-air. Do you need anti-air? Like honestly? Go with a heavy engine, we'll remove this. Yeah, just have a bunch of deck space. Okay. Uh, what is this? Oh, you're done. Give me, uh, give me oil and rubber. So if I do this, God damn it! We'll select you, select you. Can I not tell you to upgrade? Design. Like, if I change this into this, update. I can just select the class, Courageous class. Remove this, upgrade this, and save. Why did it not save? I don't get it! Why does it not save? I hate this. I fucking hate this system. Why did they have to change it? Why? Just do this and then we'll just, I don't know, build infrastructure everywhere. Keep it simple. Even in the Scottish Highlands, they need some roads over there. I'm making way too many fucking ships. And I just want to update the ones that I have. Ah. So I keep clicking this. Hey, Germany goes to war with Belgium. Belgium has joined the Irish Union. That's fine. Ah, many subjects. There we go. You are now a puppet. So, you right now are a colony. If you guys become a puppet... Oh, so after the puppet there is an integrated puppet. They all need to become integrated puppets for this to work. Interesting, interesting. But I'm still trying to figure out how to upgrade these ships. Like, the courageous one here. Recommission, create variant. If I just upgrade you to this, I don't want to build it. I want to retrofit it. I want to change the old ones into the new ones. Is that too, like a very difficult thing to understand? I swear to God. I swear to God I'm not understanding this. Courageous class. Update. Okay, is that it? I can't tell you to upgrade! Refit ship. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? They're exactly the same. Yes. Oh my god, I am an idiot. So I just have to select the ship and tell it to retrofit. Okay, so... You, courageous. Design. Retrofit into this. Yes, thank you. I don't know where all my aircraft carriers are. You don't have one. Hmm. Belgium has capitulated, that makes sense. So I've told two of these carriers to, like, change. There's no more here. Like, but the patrol ones don't have a carrier. I know I don't have any carriers on patrol. You guys are refitting already. So the strike force over here has just battleships. Okay. You guys, do you have a carrier? No, you do not. 
Strike Force. You've got two carriers. Okay, so let's see. A converted cruiser hull. What? No, 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 no. So I, there's nothing I can refit this into, but this one I can refit into this. Huh. So the Hermes. If I do Hermes then instead. This is the Hermes. Just do this. Okay. Level 2. Hangar space. Ditch this. Get the extra engine. Carrier engine? Cruiser engines? It's a converted cruiser hull that's been made into a carrier. So... It's 31.2. Yeah, we'll just take the cruiser one then. I can't make it! God damn it. Okay, so at least I know something here. Let's go ahead and get our Annex War goal against Ireland. Ah, I feel like I'm taking way too much time learning this. Experience gain? Interception? Efficiency? No. Air superiority? Yes, give me this. Definitely give me that. So if I just make the, uh, so if I hit you, battleships, maybe if I just upgrade you, you should definitely have a, um, the, uh, the air, aircraft facilities. Yeah, definitely. So you can spot some more stuff. Fire control, I don't know if we need that. Anti-air is fine. So, we got two of these, two of these. Okay. You should have plenty of ways of detection. Surface detection. 40. Yeah. And I can't make it. We're going to have to get into combat before I can change any of this. Which is really, really frustrating. The Netherlands are dead. Germany is about to start landing troops in... Um, in Ireland, and I'm gonna have my uh, thing back soon. So I've taken 500 political points that I basically just cheated, and I feel like I should like give that all back. I don't know if I can do it all at the same time. Maybe I'll save up until I get like 200. Germany goes to war with the Soviet Union. Really, really. Thank you for that. Generate war gold tension limit. Really? Champion of Chi. Uh, Oswald Mosley, modified trade. Champion of peace. Oh, champion of peace. War support minus 30. Generate war gold tension limit 100%. So that goes down and we get. Okay, so it becomes 24%. So we're making Oswald Mosley more enjoying going to war. Annex war goal against the United States. Really? All right. We gain annex war goal against the British Raj. Can we just bypass that if we integrate them? Appeal to Imperial Loyalist. And the sun never sets. Ooh, I just need to do this one. If I do this one, I can get the sun never sets. And looks like Italy is already landed in Ireland. And they've taken over Dublin. Yep. Say goodbye to Dublin, guys. It's been taken over. Ah, uh, really? It feels like in the vani in vanilla, the, whole, the game was really, really slow. When you were playing as England, the game was incredibly slow. And now in the man the guns, they've made England very, very slow again. Even when I wanted to go fascist, it took such a long fucking time to do. I probably could have done the civil war instead and sped it up by a, just by years, if I'd done the uh, civil war route. But I didn't. Uh, gains claims on Connacht and Munster. So Connacht, Munster, and then there's Leinster. We don't have a claim on this. No. Now we get we get claims on all of this, but we don't get them as cores. Okay. 
it, this mo modifies Oswald Mosley more. Yeah, all of this modifies Oswald Mosley. Quit India movement. No, 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 no. You are becoming my bitch. Remember that. The British Raj is a colony. And it's going to become a puppet. And then it's going to become an integrated puppet. So if I had the political points, I could just annex British Malaysia right now. I could just click this button and just take them. <laughs> that is amazing. So how is Russia doing? So they have... That's a very random number. Holy shit, there's like 200 difference here. So they have like 160? So Belgium, yeah, okay. They're all dead. They took Ireland. Resur Resurrectionist Ireland. That is a mouthful. Consolidate the British Isles. Thank you. British path to fascism gives us stability and war support. We get some civilian factories. Uh, actually, we get civilian and military factories. Preempt Spanish alignment. Ooh. We get a puppet war goal focus against uh, Spain. Gibraltar for Spanish support. So we can give them Gibraltar, but they would join us. Ooh, if we could get Spain on our side, that would be amazing. That would truly be amazing. Um, hmm. Could we get them to join our faction instead? If we could steal Italy away from Germany? I don't know if that works. But I kind of want to try it out. I want to see what happens. But unfortunately, we are out of time. So I apologize for wasting a lot of time, like, trying to fix the uh, naval stuff. It still feels really really weird to me because everything that i want to do costs naval experience and i don't i'm not used to putting my ships out to just drill in the ocean which i probably should do but it's like it costs oil doesn't it it's gonna cost me a bunch of fucking oil but apparently i can afford it so we'll just keep this uh, fleet that i made the extra fleet and we'll just have it drill until we have enough naval experience to modify my fleet the way I want it. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.